Some people just have some things seriously wrong with them. Whether it's just you don't know how to live in a normal society or you don't know how to socialize or you don't know how to just be a normal human. Some people just don't get it. And one of those people is SS Sniper Wolf. I don't know how she has fucked up this bad, but she's managed to pull it off. And she's messed up so badly, she somehow managed to almost outshine the boxing matches that happened last night, which should have, you know, been internet breaking. I mean, don't get me wrong, they've definitely blown up, but SS Sniper Wolf has still managed to make a crack in it, and I don't know how she's done it. But I'm just going to get into the story. I'm just going to kind of show you guys what's going on. I just can't believe it, man. So not too long ago, a YouTuber by the name of Jax Films started kind of just breaking down SS Wolf's content about how she essentially just steals content and just chats shit about other YouTubers and her content isn't original and she's nothing really that special anymore. Like At least in comparison to what she used to do where she made gaming videos and reviews and whatnot. And her content nowadays is just lame very similar to h3h3 it's just shit now anyway he created a whole channel kind of dedicated to this just trying to essentially just bring down ss sniper wolf and how bad of a person she is nowadays and uh he didn't even have to try because she did it herself so the story starts where ss sniper wolf is at a shoot apparently i'm gonna put the screenshot up now and she for some reason decides that she wants to pop an instagram poll to determine whether she's gonna go and see jack's films at his house now, for starters, I don't know why you do this, uh, let alone even actually go to his house, which is what she did. I, I'm going to carry on getting into that, but I don't know why you'd decide to try and fix controversy through your fans, because by bringing your fans into it, you're only creating a bigger drama. It's just not a good idea. Anyway, so she clearly ends up getting the votes that she needs obviously like anyone on the internet nowadays loves to see a bit of drama because they're not going to be affected by it if you're just a viewer and you're just going to click yes on a poll and you're going to see some dumb bitch go to some family man's house obviously oh no effect yeah let's just click yes let's just go ahead and do it I, I just i hate this kind of degeneracy and like this sort of content and entertainment it's just not good for the world whatsoever and the fact that it's getting pushed out more and more and more is just really bad i'm not looking forward to content in the future so she gets the votes that she needs and she actually goes to his house which is already a stupid idea i mean if you have a problem with someone just reach out to them online first you know it's good to kind of just set out like a foundation to fixing the issue message them give them a little phone call try and reach you know jack's kind of surroundings maybe he's got a management team maybe try and message his wife i don't know do something before you decide to go to his house you don't go to someone's house to fix a problem you go to someone's house to have a cup of tea maybe have dinner with them something like that i don't know what was going through her head it, she had to have just been desperate for some sort of internet clout as she's slowly dying off uh, anyway she gets to his house and she takes a picture of his house and puts it online i, I I don't know why you would do this. I just don't know what's wrong with her. Uh, she claimed that, oh, his house is already on Google, but it doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference because, you know, people could say, oh yeah, this is where I live. Not everyone's gonna believe it and no one's gonna actually go to the house unless it's confirmed. Anyway, Jack obviously instantly straight away goes to Twitter because why would you not just to kind of fix the problem? And I'm just gonna kind of show you guys how it goes back and forth. Sniper Wolf replies on Instagram for some reason. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Okay, so what Jack says, he instantly goes to Twitter and he says, SS Sniper Wolf just docked me on her IG. Creepy, gross, violating. What you do is disgusting. You steal content and stalk YouTubers at YouTube. Demonetize this dangerous creator or just get her off your platform. She posted an IG story right outside her home and deleted it. Fair take. I, I mean, I don't know why she's still on YouTube. She keeps on making these stupid mistakes. A couple of years ago, it was like she didn't go and meet this kid who had cancer or something like that. And now it's this shit. I don't know how you keep on messing up this bad. Don't get me wrong. Everyone is. They, we're all human. Every single human makes mistakes. But to fuck up this badly, you've got to, you've got to have something twisted in your head. Anyway, Sniper Wolf replies to this by saying, uh, let me find it. Yeah, so she replies to this by saying, this creep has been harassing me for months, then plays victim, saying I threatened him when I just wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. If anything here, it looks like it's Sniper Wolf trying to create the drama. She knows very well if she's not 
you know, cuckoo, like going to someone's house is gonna cause problems. It's just weird, especially if you've already got problems with this person, going up to the house, knocking on their front door, like you're about to pitch the fucking Bible to them. It's not gonna do anything. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, Jack's wife now gets involved and says, um, Dear YouTube, I'm not a creator, but my husband is. Tonight, Sniper Wolf came to my home, posted it on her Instagram for all to see, and tried to instigate a confrontation. I now have to worry about what she, as one of your favorite creators, may do or harm me or my family. I'm a regular human that works an eight to five corporate job that happened to fall in love with a YouTuber. She might claim that she is coming after a bully, but she is actually stalking and doxing normal people with no power. I'm an example of this. I beg you, what can you do to help us to keep us safe? This poor woman, right? It's it really puts things into perspective. It doesn't matter how many subscribers you have, you know, how many of a following you have, how much like of an involvement you have online. It doesn't guarantee that the people around you are going to have this lifestyle as well. So obviously Jack's wife, she's just a normal woman and she just fell in love with a YouTuber like what she just said here. And she instantly gets the shit into the stick of this. You know, she's get, already getting dragged into all of this. She's probably already got enough pressure for her job as well. And now she's getting dragged into all of this. Some random fucking Instagram influencer, YouTuber has just pulled up to us. She doesn't even know who Snipe Wolf is and is just fucking basically just taken her home from her because now she, they're going to have to move house, obviously. I mean, the whole internet knows where they live now. Anyway, SS Snipe then replies again. I can't believe she hasn't just apologised at this point. And she says, accusing me of doxing is defamation. I have no idea how to dox. He literally posted his address on Google and said I threatened him and doxed him. <sighs> My gosh, like instantly playing the victim card here. It's just, I can't get over it. Um, and then saying that she's being accused of doxing, that she doesn't know what she's doing, and, oh, it's just an accident. I just cannot believe it. And it's the fact that you'd go to this fullest extent after having issues with someone online. I don't know whether she thought it was a good idea or, you know, whether she actually wanted to fix it or just wanted drama or wanted a bit of attention. Either way, it's a bad idea. And it's kind of showing, like, the sacrifices that people are willing to make if, you know, just to get views online. And if it's not that, it's showing how fucking bad being like rich and famous and constantly in the spotlight is for your brain because clearly she's just become stupid. Like, I mean, like, not even a 13 year old kid would do this if they were pissed off at someone. It's like, especially an adult, like, what is going on with the world? Anyway, you're all caught up now with that. I have no clue what's gonna happen to a sniper wolf. She's probably gonna get in quite a lot of trouble for this because she has actually broken the law with what she's done. Whether it'll go any further than that, I don't know. Will she get arrested? Will she get a fine? Who knows? Uh, really hope this kind of continues so uh, we can actually see Sniper Wolf fucking rot because what a bitch, my God. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.